What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to T3G. This is the Tangents Podcast, and today we're just doing a very short, very brief Panels on Pages episode. I'm going to do this by myself since I've got some thoughts and some opinions about the current state of DC and all of the things that are happening. Uh, now, I remember hearing loose conversation about there being an ABC, or I'm sorry, AT&T buyout of uh, Warner Media. This apparently has gone through, and due to that, uh, presumably under the new ownership, there has been some restructuring. There has been some change, and there have been massive, massive layoffs. Uh, one of the things we've talked about before is the fact that we have certain DC Universe shows showing up on HBO Max. Hadis and I have both discussed how we feel about kind of the HBO Max concept and what they're doing and just their lack of seeming seeming lack of direction within the entire organization and Warner Media in general. So perhaps, perhaps this is a good thing. But right now, what we've seen is the DC Universe is pretty much going to be shutting down as is today as kind of when I signed up for it as was promised it's going away uh, Jill, Jim Lee did confirm that the shows are all going to be going to HBO Max or CW um, and honestly I'm okay with that I have no problem with that if HBO Max gets uh, Titans and Doom Patrol because those are a little more uh, T plus R rated or star girl is already on CW. So that can just stay there. They can eventually cross over. It just makes sense. That can be their earth Two going forward. Um, uh, swamp thing we talked about recently is already slated to be on C CW. So most likely that's just going to be going to CW and there's probably going to be another season. At least they have fired some of the top names at DC comics they are canceling several titles. Let's see, what was it? Hawkman canceled. Uh, there it is. Cancels Teen Titans. Teen Titans. Young Justice. Two of, I would say, arguably the most favored comic lines. Suicide Squad, Hawk, Hawkman, and others. Hawkman has never been, uh, has has never had staying power. So I'm not even concerned about that one. I'm not even shocked by that one, honestly. I was, I kind of always just expect Hawkman, Hawkman to get canceled. Uh, Teen Titans, weird one, weird one. Um, Young Justice, again, they kind of made a big deal about Young Justice coming back. Uh, Young Justice is kind of an important property for the universe, and they are apparently canceling that. Weird. It's, it's weird. Uh, Suicide Squad, they've had so many series over the years that, meh, whatever. Uh, Hellblazer looks like it's getting canceled. That is likely going to be... I didn't realize they'd put uh, constantly back in the Sandman universe. I actually don't even know how that works at DC right now. The Sandman universe, I don't know if that's a separate universe itself or if that's just kind of like the uh, Midnight Suns line was at Marvel back in the day. Regardless, they're canceling a lot of titles. They fired Bob Harris, which was the editor-in-chief, which if you know anything about comic books, that is the guy, right? That is the Joe Quesada. That is the, what at one time, uh, Stan Lee role. The main guy. The guy of guys, right? Uh, they fired him. Uh, Bob Harris used to work for Marvel. Then he moved to DC. And now he's not working at either. <laughs> and I don't know what we're about to see happen. Uh, comics are in kind of a weird space. Uh, uh, Jibba and I talked about this last time as far as the comics gate concept and what people are doing and you know what creators think is happening and what they're doing to kind of go their own way. And you know, more power to you. If you got an audience, do what you do. But uh, for the most part, I think there is some stability that is created by having the big two, even call it the big three with image kind of being the indie brand without Mar what like without DC Marvel sales, aren't going to go drastically up. Let's just be clear on that. It's not going to be like, Oh DC, let's say DC just disappears for some ungodly reason. It doesn't just all go to Marvel. It's likely people just stop reading comics. There are few people. I, I would say, a Superman audience, a Batman audience, they're not likely to go explore independent properties. And they don't really have analogs at Marvel. Marvel's storytelling methods and Marvel's characters 
are vastly different from DC. I've always said this. There is at DC, there has always been this ca- this catalog of gods. Like re- really, in reality, they're, they're gods. I mean, DC universe characters. Let's just pull that up real quick. And your Superman, your Green Lanterns with the magic ring that can do anything, and they've done the analogs themselves, right? You Superman is your Zeus character. Uh, Wonder Woman is Hera, Batman is Hades, uh, Flash is Mercury, Aquaman is Poseidon. They are, that's why they call them, I mean, hell, even Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman are called the Trinity. There is a lot of divine and godly references. I mean, hell, Shazam is actually powered by gods. I mean, really, so is Wonder Woman. These are beyond like above reality like they're beyond human life people you know bruce wayne is the richest rich motherfucker ever uh wally west is granted he's he's a he's a cop but he's like the most brilliant csi right tim drake who i love i love tim drake i hate his new fucking costume and name drake like but we know we know it's you tim like like it's your last name it's stupid uh, but anyway, I love him, but he is this like, oh, he was the, the best, smartest little boy. And he, now he's become the best, smartest man. Um, although I, I guess technically maybe he's still a teen. It's really hard to tell these days. Um, it just really everybody is a pinnacle example of what their category is and what what, what their character is. And at Marvel, you just have a, a slew of flawed characters. They start from a character perspective. And then they become heroes uh, as opposed to, you know, Superman was always he was raised to be a hero. Batman, through circumstance, became a hero first. And then he had to build the Bruce Wayne persona. Barry kind of built his life around solving a murder and the murder of his mother. You know, Arthur's a king. (laughs) He's an actual king. He was he was swimming around one day and then, you know, Atlantis came calling and now he's a king like they're all top level beyond humanity people. So somebody reading Superman doesn't really have something on the Marvel side to go to. I mean, like, I, I think a Blue Marvel is a possible analog, but that's a way more complex character. Uh, you have the Century comparison, but that's just not, it's not a sustainable uh, series. Like, Century's never going to have his own series. Never going to have his own ongoing series. Let me be clear on that. You have similar characters, the Green Lanterns. Like, there's just not one-to-one analogs there just isn't and you know you don't have a john constantine at marvel that you just don't you know dr strange is cool but he's not john constantine like john constantine uh, real talk i would have john constantine on my uh, on my side in any magical battle instead of dr strange and i don't even care how much more like powerful dr strange is supposed to be regardless i've gone off on a tangent obviously they're canceling these books They've fired a bunch of people. I think half the staff at DC Universe got fired. Jim Lee just recently said, uh, what did it say? Jim Lee, DC Universe. Um, He says, the DC is still in the business of publishing comics that no work on that front has been halted because of the layoffs. No previously greenlit comics have been canceled. That's not true because the whole Generations concept, from from what I understand, had been canceled and that that had been uh, maybe due to the layoffs. Like maybe it was timing right they canceled they canceled the generations project and then they did the layoffs so it's not because of the layoffs but it's some stuff has gotten canceled let's be serious uh but at least it sounds like dc is going to go isn't going to go the way of fawcett or charlton well if they did then marvel would i mean disney would buy them Uh, i'm imagining that there are people at disney having like written to the to to the payment to at&t for the amount of and they're just like left that blank memo dc comics all characters forever and ever peace the fuck out that's what the memo says <laughs> like uh i just uh I, I see like there's vultures at disney that are just like ready to just ready to dive in case there's any even implication that they're going to be nixing dc comics from warner media uh, in reality i don't know that at&t wants to fight I don't want to think, I don't know. I don't know that they want to fight that fight. I don't know that they want to have this battle with Disney long term because Disney is a powerhouse. Marvel Studios has an established, successful history of movies. 
I just don't know that AT&T wants to have that fight. We'll see what happens with uh, with the Snyder Cut. We'll see what happens. I mean, I'm sure Wonder Woman will do good, do well. Wonder Woman always does good. But I don't know. I don't know where this is going to go. Like, yeah, yeah, DC Comics is still in the business of publishing comics. Still, but not forever. It's not a permanent thing. Uh, John Ridley is apparently doing a Batman book that will have a huge impact on the line. But who cares about that? As for DC Universe says... Lee says that its original content is being moved over to HBO Max. There it is, uh, which has mostly happened already. But that there is always going to be a need for a kind of community and experience that DC Universe was built around. He suggests that the service is going to change in some way. Of course it is. If you don't have the shows, <laughs> like the, if you don't have the original content, movies and TV shows, um, that's the that was part of the, 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 the reason for signing up. Uh, we guess that it turns into something more like Marvel's unlimited huge comics vault. Except, except I will say that the DC plan, or granted things are changing now, but the plan had been, according to the DC at some point, to put the entire library of DC comic books onto DC Universe. Uh, whereas Marvel Unlimited seems to, stuff seems to fluctuate. They seem to take stuff off of the service sometimes and... That's actually why I haven't signed up for, for Marvel Unlimited. I'm, I'm a way bigger Marvel fan, like, without question. DC, I'll, I'll be honest, if they st if they just make it comics, if they just make it comics and community or whatever the hell, it better come down. Price better get cut in half. Because if I'm not getting original TV shows, if I'm not getting original animation, which is what the promise of the service was, I, I expect half my money back because I'm only getting half the services I was promised. That's my thing. We're going to discuss this at length uh, once Hottis gets back from his trip. I wanted to pull some research together and uh, kind of get some more details around what's going on. Everyth anything that we can find out. Um, Fandom, which is their big thing, is happening in six days from now. So we might even... I was thinking about doing that live. Maybe I, maybe I take that day off and I don't know if he's going to be back. If he's not back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find someone else to, to co-host and we're going we're gonna to watch Fandom live and 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 maybe edit it down to an hour or two maybe do a couple episodes based on just fandom because i think right now honestly in comics this is the biggest news everything that's happening in dc dc universe warner media in general this is the biggest biggest news around comics and uh i'm very very interested to see where this goes i swear on everything this fucking phone goes off without fail every time i'm recording but that's going to be it for this one thank you for listening i have a guest in the next one